The Wisconsin men's hockey team is headed to the NCAA tournament for the first time in seven years. The Big Ten regular season champions earned a number one seed in the Bridgeport, Connecticut Regional and will face Bemidji State in the opening round on Friday at noon central time. Head coach Tony Granado's never been to the NCAA tournament, but he's going now and he'll join us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. It's back, the return of the prestigious Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, honoring college sports excellence across all competitive divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow along with L Directors Cup on Twitter or online to see which schools will be taking home a first place trophy in June for their season long success. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, a premier institutional award jointly launched in 1993 by USA Today and NACTA. Uh, the Wisconsin Badgers received an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament, a number one seed in the Bridgeport, Connecticut regional, and will begin play Friday at noon against Bemidji State. Opposite the bracket, it's UMass and Lake Superior State. And uh, if the Badgers win on Friday, they'd play for a chance uh, to go to the Frozen Four on Saturday at 3 o'clock Central. Um, it, it's been a fun season. 20 wins, a Big Ten regular season championship. You make it to the Big Ten tournament title game as well. Um, I'm not sure if seeding actually matters at this point. You're in the big dance. So congratulations to you and your squad. Yeah, th thanks, Brian. It, it's, you know, when you start the season, you know, you, your <clears throat> goals are to win the Big Ten and to give yourself an opportunity to to uh, compete in the NCAA tournament. And we've been able to do that. So it's been, you know, uh, a challenging year. We've talked about it over and over on all the different things that have come at us. Um, the team and our players uh, have earned the right. I said it last night when, you know, we got the number one seed. I really think that, you know, from what they put into it and, 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 uh, and the success we had that we earned that number one seed. So, so it means nothing, like you said, from the standpoint that there's 16 really good hockey teams in the tournament. Uh, but it gives us, you know, an opportunity, um, you know, to, to go in and do what all of us dream of doing. We want to win championships. And, you know, you just experienced with your daughter winning the, the championship, you know, for the women's side. And, uh, and we're hoping to follow suit and be able to do that ourselves. Yeah, uh, that, that it's pretty impressive what Mark Johnson's uh, organization, as he called it, has been able to accomplish six national championships in 18 seasons as head coach. They've been to the final from well, what, nine times in the Frozen Four so many times, 12, 13 times. It's amazing what they've accomplished, but that's, you know, hard work, good recruiting, uh, committed players. Um, oftentimes, uh, success follows. Absolutely. And, and, you, and you look at our athletic department and what they've done to, to um for the women and for the, you know, for our facilities and how we, uh, you know, put a lot into it. I mean, plus the fans and the boosters and, and the people in the community, uh, you know, love our women's sports. They love our, our sports in general. And, and, you know, if I'm a woman hockey player and I can go play for Mark Johnson, play at the university of Wisconsin and play in the Bond center, I'm going, I mean, that's just a, a phenomenal setup and, and the tradition and history is, is remarkable. And, you know, six, I don't know if any other NCAA team has ever done i'm thinking of john wooden <laughs> at ucla well, they, but there's probably, not, uh, there's yeah, probably yeah. only a couple of others that, that could compare with what our women's hockey program has done and, and it's a great compliment to, to mark and the entire you know badger uh women's hockey program and and the players and and this the support again is huge it doesn't work unless you have the support from the fans and boosters and everything so and alumni and and uh so it's a, it's a it's a fun thing for us to watch and kind of aspire to be. So they, they set the standards and we're trying to follow it now. <laughs> As I mentioned to you on Sunday too, uh, I know this is all about the team, but you, you've got to be a, a little giddy. I mean, we're both about the same age in our mid fifties, and and I've been able to watch and call NCAA tournament games, a national championship, a few now. Um, you, you never had this opportunity as a player, and now you finally get it as a coach. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's, it's great. And, and, uh, you know, again, the start of every season, you, you aspire to put yourself in a position to compete with, you know, the 16 best teams to, to win a national championship. And, um, you know, this has been a, a fun year for us because I think we built all along. I think, you know, it started real well with a sweep at Notre Dame. 
Uh, but then as the season went along, you could see a little more pieces coming together and coming together. And, you know, and you look at our young players. So, so we start with our senior goalie and, and our transfer goalie and Robbie Badoon. He has a great start for us, but you got a freshman sitting in the weeds, you know, waiting for his first opportunity. And then we need him, bam, he jumps in and makes a big impact on our team. So there's your, there's your goaltending tandem that's going to be a big part of your team then you got your power play where you got Linus Weisbach as your point man okay how's this going to work out well starts pretty good let's see how we go now it's grown into the best power play in college hockey and then you get you know some guys on the PK side of things that are getting you know cracks at being the primary guys you know well it's going well let's see how it goes keeps getting better and better and better so I think and, and this is throughout the team you, you've seen little pieces of the team kind of come together as the years gone along uh, and they've grown together. I think that's been really, really exciting. We've mentioned it over and over and over again about how great our leadership and our captains and our older players and our younger players have all taken responsibility of leading each other. Uh, and so when, when you're able to, you know, put yourself in this position, you look back at the reasons, it's the kids. I mean, they were committed. Their attitudes have been great. Uh, their work ethic's been great. They've handled all the situations that have been thrown at them in a professional way. And and, uh, and now we get to go play hockey, you know, when, when lots of teams are done. You know, we talked before about, about seeding. Being a number one seed is, is fantastic. Uh, last time the Badgers were in the NCAA tournament, they were a one seed in Cincinnati and lost the opening round to North Dakota. So just because you're a one seed doesn't automatically mean you're going to go anywhere. It doesn't guarantee anything. And oftentimes at this uh, point of the year, it's not about seeding, but it's about matchups. So uh, can you tell us how you think your club might match up against Bemidji State? And I'm thinking Tom Saratori Ser with the Beavers right now is thinking, all right, how do we contain Cole Caulfield Dylan Holloway, Linus Weisbach, Ty Pelton Vice. How do we get Pucks Bass, Robbie Bay Dune, and Cameron Rowe? You know what I mean? So, um, what do you think of this matchup to start out the NCAA? Yeah, tournament? I mean, we'll, we'll do a lot of, you know, uh, studying of the film just to figure out some of their weaknesses. I like to, when, when we present to our players, I like to show areas that we can break their team down on. For sure, we're going to show their strengths and, and the, the things that they do well. But I think it's more important for us to just identify a few things that maybe we can go after them and, and try to take the game over with our strengths. And and our, our team all year long has been, you know, a team that's that uh, has thrived on what we do well and, and tried to take games over with just that as opposed to saying, OK, this is what the other team's doing. we got to shut them down before we can get to our game. I think it's got to go the opposite. we got to be – be uh, on our toes. We got to be ready to dictate the pace of the game and how it's going to be played. Uh, we have to allow, the, you know, our, our offensive players to get a rhythm and get into the game. So when they do get their opportunities, they're able to to capitalize on them. So, so, so I think our team does it a, a little bit differently when we go into game plans and studying the other team. Um, but you know, like I said, we'll we'll go through that film and, and educate our players on what to expect. And then really, it's about you know working this week to make sure that that we establish our forecheck that we get our movement going in the offensive zone that our deer are aggressive at at playing gaps tight that we are quick and physical in d zone coverage to to not spend much time there and then on the transition we're a quick transition team so as soon as there is a change in possession we want to get on the attack fast so so that whole theme that we've used all year will stay pretty much the same so there won't be a a drastic game change uh uh, adjustment to, to who we play. It's more about making sure we're, we're sharp and we do, uh, we're ready to, to, to do the things we've done all year. So the Wisconsin Badgers head east for the NCAA tournament in a first round matchup with Bemidji State on Friday. We'll be on the air at 1130 on the Badgers Sports Network face off at noon. It's also on ESPN2. And if Wisconsin wins, it will face UMass or Lake Superior State Saturday at three o'clock on the Badgers Sports Network. That game on ESPNU. And then hopefully we'll see Wisconsin State in the Frozen Four in Pittsburgh April 8th and 10th. For Jay Williams, Paul Capobianco, and Tony Granato, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.